In 1901, sponge divers off the coast of the Greek island Antikythera stumbled upon a Roman-era shipwreck. Among the bronze statues and pottery, they found something far more mysterious, a corroded lump of metal with gears embedded inside. It looked like nothing else from the ancient world. That artifact would later be known as the Antikythera Mechanism, and it's often called the world's first analog computer, a device so advanced that it wouldn't be rivaled again for over a thousand years. This is the Vault Files, and today we're diving into one of the most astonishing pieces of ancient technology ever discovered. The Antikythera mechanism is a complex system of bronze gears, dials, and inscriptions built sometime between 150 BCE and 100 BCE. It was originally housed in a wooden box roughly the size of a shoe box with rotating dials on the front and back. Despite being heavily damaged and corroded by centuries underwater, researchers have been able to reconstruct large portions of the mechanism. What they found was extraordinary. This device could predict astronomical positions and eclipses, track the cycles of the moon, and possibly even model the positions of the five known planets at the time, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Some scholars believe it also included a calendar system potentially used for timing Olympic games, or agricultural cycles. The engineering of the Antikythera mechanism is unlike anything else from the ancient world. It contains at least 30 meshing bronze gears with intricate teeth that would be difficult to craft even with modern tools. It uses a differential gear, a system that wouldn't be seen again until the 16th century. The lunar phase indicator even accounts for the elliptical orbit of the moon using a pin and slot mechanism to mimic its changing speed. To put it simply, this wasn't just a clock, it was a fully functioning mechanical model of the universe as it was understood by the Greeks, and yet no other device like it has ever been found from that era. The exact creator of the Antikythera mechanism is unknown, but there are clues. The craftsmanship and astronomical accuracy suggest someone trained in both Greek astronomy and precision engineering. Some historians believe it was influenced by the work of Hippocrates, a Greek astronomer and mathematician. Others think it may have come from the Rhodes School associated with Poseidus, another major scientific figure at the time. Then there's the theory that it was part of a larger scientific toolkit used by scholars and navigators who traveled traveled onward on board ships. Its very existence implies that there was a broader technological culture that at work, one that may have been lost or suppressed over time. So what makes this mechanism so baffling is that nothing like it exists from the same period. So for centuries, historians believe that mechanical gear systems of this complexity weren't developed until medieval Europe. The mechanism challenges that view. It suggests that engineers were experimenting with technology that wouldn't reappear for a millennium. So what happened? Some suggest the knowledge was lost after the deconstruction of the Library of Alexandria or during the Roman conquest of the Greek world. Others speculate that similar devices may have existed but were made less durable materials and just simply didn't survive. Either way, it paints a picture of ancient science that was far more advanced than we ever thought it was. After its discovery, the mechanism sat largely ignored for decades, and it wasn't until the 1950s that British historian Derek DeSala Prince began to study it seriously. Using X-ray imaging, he discovered the internal gear structure and brought international attention to its complexity. In the 21st century, the Endicathera Mechanism Research Project, a collaboration of scientists, mathematicians, and archaeologists, used CT scans, 3D modeling, and inscriptions analysis to reconstruct this device. They even built working replicas, proving that the device could track eclipses, solar cycles, and planetary motion with surprising accuracy. Today, it's displayed at the National Archaeological Museum of Athens, still only partially understood. The Antikythera mechanism is a paradox. It's an object that doesn't belong in its time, a machine too advanced for the era it came from, and yet it exists. It challenges our assumptions about the ancient science, technology, and what we think we know about the past. 
Was it a one of a kind of invention or just the only surviving piece of a lost technological tradition? This is The Vault Files, and the deeper we dig, the more questions we find buried beneath the surface. If you want more forgotten tech or lost civilizations, ancient mysteries, uh, hit that subscribe button, follow us on TikTok and Instagram for daily breakdowns, and join the Patreon to unlock exclusive content and support the hunt for hidden knowledge. I really enjoyed this week's series uh, doing the archaeological stuff. Um, Let me know what you guys think. If you want me to do this again in the future, I'd be happy to. Uh, Next week, we're kind of going back into the paranormal supernatural realms. Uh, So if there's anything you'd like to see in the coming weeks or months, please let me know. Because, you know, I want you guys to be happy. All right. Have a good one.